Allison Ruth has a problem. More specifically, her boyfriend has been kidnapped by Dimension Hopping Knights. A dying warrior has imbued her with a great and ancient power, and she has and she herself has been whisked away to throne, the city, the city at the center of all worlds. Stranded in a bizarre land of nightmarish creatures, slang-talking devils, and kung fu angels, Alicent must undertake an epic quest to save her boyfriend from the clutches of the seven evil god kings that rule the multiverse. Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, an audio-only version, I know, right? It's a little bit weird. Another installment of A Week in Geekdom, my name is Giovanni Menendez, and welcome! Welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be talking about the series Kill Six Billion Demons. I first stumbled upon this thanks to a former intern at work that recommended it to me. He was huge on web comics. I myself prefer um, printed comics. I'm, I don't, uh, I don't like to read on computer screens or tablets that much. But yeah, he told me how great the series was, and I checked it out and uh yeah it's it's pretty out there it's pretty wacky and pretty fun and i do want to try my best and sell it to you in a non-spoilery sort of way the basic premise uh like i mentioned at the beginning of the video kill six billion demons uh you know it it, it tackles the multiverse and i'm a huge fan of that stuff <laughs> i love the idea of multiple realities of multiple versions of oneself and all that stuff that's uh, always intrigued me and my favorite science fiction stuff has always dealt with uh, the concept so yeah right out of the gate i'm a huge fan of it the story is written by and i do believe uh drawn inked and and colored and <laughs> everything uh, is done by tom parkinson morgan and he he has a very um he has a very kinetic style to his writing. Uh, I, I do believe I read somewhere that it was a very lightning-based pacing on his writing, and I kind of have to agree. Some of the stuff that I read in the book, uh, if, if you're not paying attention to it, you're going to be a little bit lost because there is a ton of exposition dump. Uh, happening uh, it, it can be a little bit overwhelming if you are not like a hundred percent into what you're reading because he de he deals with uh, concepts of multiverse of religion of spirituality of duality of uh, the nature of, of um, love war uh, tyranny and and so many other concepts that get explored slight spoilers uh the throne once you find out its true nature and what this story is basically trying to set up it's fantastic it opens the world to countless possibilities and just countless realities by the way uh the throne is very biblical in nature and at the center of this you have billions of uh souls that have sort of lost their way and are just living a very uh, eccentric uh miserable kind of miserable lives in this uh world that has been taken over by avarice greed and all those deadly sins and all that stuff so i really like that uh, the character of Allison is, uh, at least in this first volume, there's not a whole lot to her simply because um, we take the, we go along on this ride with her. We like her. We have no idea what we're doing. We have no idea how we're supposed to feel about all the information that uh, that we are given. Uh, but as the series progresses, as you start reading more chapters, the character does evolve and and. Um, sort of uh takes her first steps into this epic grand quest and it's that type of story at least from uh, my uh early impressions of uh, you know classic epic 
tales of heroes defying all odds uh, in this great adversity. I love that uh, smart twist of having her be the hero of the story, having to save the boyfriend. It's usually the damsel in distress and all that stuff. So I really appreciated that. And I cannot wait to see the character evolve. The art in this book is phenomenal. I loved it so much. It starts out very odd, rough, sketchy, and kind of quirky. But it develops its own uniqueness and personality that I really, really enjoyed. And I cannot recommend it enough. There's a level of expertise in this comic. Um, it is a very intricate story. Everything is very hyperly detailed to the most minute things from a page layout being um, you have to flip over the book to see the whole thing and, and it reminded me of reading those uh, blueprint guides for your favorite uh, pop culture thing where you would see the whole layout of the map and where everybody was uh, uh, hanging around and walking and all that stuff uh, where all the walls and rooms are it's that detailed and that really gives it a an awesome identity compared to other books that might deal with similar subject matters instead what we have here is a wonderful story about a girl that is thrown into this weird fantastic epic world where she must overcome her own insecurities also find out what the hell is going on in this story and save her boyfriend uh, all the while uh, get bombarded with uh, crazy characters with amazing character design work by the way and just a wonderful sense of epic storytelling I, I cannot recommend this book enough if you like all the stuff that I've mentioned then it's a no-brainer that you got to check it out now the first volume can be a little bit slow if you are not accustomed to so much um, world building as, I, as we like to call it because there is a ton of uh, information being thrown at you there are actual uh, texts that uh, read like you're uh, checking out a uh, passage from the Bible um, in in that style uh, with the verses and stuff uh, but for the most part it's very easy to follow through and you're gonna have fun and you're gonna have a fun time regardless I do I do recommend it and I do think it's pretty uh, pretty special it's a pretty special title in my honest opinion um, like I mentioned a, a little while ago the character designs are fantastic um, white chain and all the other weird crazy monsters and, and humans and and demons and all that stuff it's very awesome to see uh this level of creativity in an independent title and i do think if you give it a shot you will be uh entertained by all the crazy hijinks so yeah kill six billion demons have you read it let me know down below and if not recommend me some multiverse inspired comic books i'm always up for reading those Guys, as always, thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of Awaken Geekdom. It really means the world to me that I am able to do this because of your wonderful support. I love every single one of you, and I wish you all nothing but the very best. I have got to go. Follow me on your favorite social media platform, and uh, yeah, I will catch all of you on our next episode.